Magician! This voice is gonna... Mm, mm, mm. There, I edited myself. Family show. I noticed today, not only am I wearing my Municipal Waste Thrasher hat, right? I got my Municipal Waste head banger face rip t-shirt, but check these out. My Municipal Waste gym shorts, because I need to get, you know, active in the pit. <laughs> anyway, today I think we'll talk a little bit about Municipal Waste. Hands down, one of the best, like, pure thrash bands. About partying, less about politics, of course, so... But, uh, you know, one of the greatest shows I ever saw, Heavy Montreal a few years back, the Cien de Foret, which is the, you know, like the four stage. And there's a humongous circle pit, circle pits, and then there were these trees around there. And then, like, these nuts started climbing the trees and stage diving off of the tree, like, from, like, 25 feet up there. It was nuts, so. And then mosh pits around the trees. I mean, it was cool. But, anyway, when we talk, let's see, uh, one thing about Municipal Waste, they got lots of cool t-shirts, and let's take a look at them. You, tell me your faves. We're talking about Municipal Waste. Here, they got some great t-shirts. Look at this. This one is a headbanger face rip. If you look at it, it's exactly that. Headbanger with his face ripped. Uh, that's what I'm wearing today, man. Love that t-shirt. What other they got? This one I always found interesting. It's some kind of thrasher dude puking on... A businessman type guy, but notice the puke is like, like acid. I didn't realize he's got some sweet tattoos too. That's a good one. Oh, that's not one of my favorites. I have this one too. Okay, there's like a green wizard guy, but of course, once he's surfing on the back of a shark, I mean, it doesn't get any more metal than that, man, for sure. Uh, this one's a cool t-shirt from the... Last Ranger, the latest EP. I noticed there's like a toxic guy here. Of course, he's giving you the finger. And notice his belt full of beers. So he's got the Bandolero beers going. And there's a lot going on in here. It's like an old nuclear missile, right, in the corner there. That's a pretty good t-shirt, man. That's solid. Uh, this one's funny. I, I'm not a big fan of the art on this one, but it's all right. I mean, it's obviously, it's pretty cool. You got a, like, toxic Reaper guy with chainsawing a dude in the head, but I just like the fact that on the back it says smoke beer. That makes no sense at all. Uh, this one is cool. Love. That's. I think this is from the Fatal Feast. I was all about being lost in space, but no, it's like a zombie space man, and of course the beer is radioactive because... Yeah. And of course, maybe the greatest municipal waste t-shirt, of course, is the Trump. I think they put this out um, before he became president. I think when he was running for president... And, of course, the classic t-shirt, the back of it, was a response to build the wall. And the only walls they build are walls of death. All right. Let me know. Do you have a favorite Municipal Waste t-shirt? I mean, of course, there's one for each of the album covers. There's lots of them. So I dig about that band and make a lot of different cool shirts. Just like Executive Disorder. Check us out on Bandcamp. So do you got a favorite of the waste? The waste. All right. Uh... Till tomorrow, my friends, you know what time it is. It's time for old time hockey time. Some old time hockey it's from the 80s, man. The Devils. And see number 16. The Devils. That's Patty Verbeek, one of my faves. Uh, I want to play for the Devils. He actually, for a long time, the most goals scored in a single season for the Devils. And uh, I think Brian Gianta scored more one year. But like, he was tough, man. He could throw him and he could put it in the net. We called him a little ball of hate. Played with um, Hartford later. Oh, look, there's Chico. Number one. A little good old-time hockey with the old New Jersey Devils. Let's go!